So this is the olive tree that I took the cuttings from. This is September and I took those cuttings in February. So this looks like a likely branch and what I've done is I've taken the cutting from the, the upper section and about the span of my fingers so about that much and there's the whole branch so a section of about 15 or so centimeters so these are all the things I'm going to need to prepare these olive cuttings so I'll, I'll talk you through the whole process but what I have here is rooting powder, a pencil, a pot filled with compost which has been very well watered, a little pot of water and a um, serrated knife and some cutting shears. So first of all I'm going to cut a section of about 15 centimeters. And I'm going to remove the side branches. And I can shorten these a little. And then I'll take my serrated knife and just gently run it along the stem just to remove some of that outer layer. Then I dip the stem in water, open my rooting powder and dip the wet stem into the rooting powder so that the powder will stick to it there you can see quite a bit has and then I can take that little cutting I prepare a little hole I'll put four cutters into this pot so I'll I'll make a little hole with my pencil I do that so that I don't remove the uh, rooting powder when I push it into the hole and then all I do is I pop it into that hole And just gently push around so it's already been pre-watered so that I don't need to water it again and the water is not going to uh, wash any of the rooting powder off so I'll come back when I've prepared the other four uh, cuttings So that's all done, all the cuttings are prepared and put in the pot. Uh, don't worry about things like uh, cutting above a node or stuff like that. I, honestly it doesn't really make a difference just as long as there's a sufficient length to be buried in the compost and stick out above with leaves it's going to do fine. Um, so now what I have here is a, a plastic bag and I've cut a corner off so this will be an easy way to top up with water should it need topping up um, so I just seal that with one of these little clips this is already watered uh, this water in, in the base and um, that's going to last a very long time so what I'll do is I'll seal, seal this up to create a, a mini greenhouse And then using this piece of string I'll tie that round and there you go that's ready to be left in a nice warm spot on a uh, windowsill 
and uh, I practically won't need to do anything because um, it's a self-sustaining little system there. I might need to open this and top it up with water at some point but uh, very inf infrequently and I'll come back in six months or so and I'm pretty sure that those will, will have taken nicely. So now we have the great unveiling. Let's see how these four little olive tree cuttings have done. It's actually 201 days since I planted these. So I planted them on the 16th of February this year. Um, So I'm going to take these outside and, and see how they've done. I have actually looked at them in the interim and I've had to water them occasionally but because that's a, like a sealed unit there um, you have to water it very very infrequently. So let's go outside and have a look at these. So here we are ready to see how these little cuttings have done. So. I'm just going to open this up. As you can see, there's a lot of condensation in that packet. This was the little window I had to uh, water these cuttings without having to actually open up um, to undo that fastening. I'll take that off. And we look at those, and those are looking pretty good I think except there's one that hasn't made it so let's take those out and have a look at them as you can see some brilliant roots so they've definitely taken let's just split that up and have a look at them oh there's the date 16th of February. Let's pick those up and have a look at them. And there they are. Three lovely little cuttings. This one didn't make it. In fact, probably if I had checked on these sooner, it would have because it was growing roots. But uh, it didn't make it to 201 days but these three have so I'm just going to get these planted up so here's a large pot that I've prepared it's pretty big considering these are so small but I'm expecting these olive trees to do very well so it's just a pot filled with a mix of garden soil and uh, compost so probably about three parts garden soil to one part compost probably quite rich for an olive tree but I want this to grow strongly so I'm just going to plant one of these into it so I take out this little pot that I've got in the middle it leaves a nice depression ready for me to pop this in there and in it goes and I can just collapse that round it and there we have one olive tree ready to do its thing and grow beautifully right so I've planted all three little olive tree cuttings and I'm just going to give them a good watering and then all that's left after this is to put them in a sunny spot and let them grow and I'm sure at least one of these little cuttings is going to grow to be a beautiful big tree in someone's garden.
So there the three of them are in a nice sunny spot in my garden. And I'm pretty sure they're all going to do really well. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please like this. And um, if people like my videos, I'll produce some more. I hope you'll agree that this video is a little bit different from those out there in that it's actually showing you that it is possible to grow an olive tree from a cutting. So I've shown you um, all the way from the cutting through to planting out the rooted cutting. So um, until the next time, thank you and goodbye. So thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making it and I hope you learned something. I especially enjoyed filming little Boo Boo in the greenhouse. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And also if you have any suggestions for another video, uh, if there's enough interest in this one, I'll be happy to make another video. So thanks once again for watching and happy gardening. Hi, Boo Boo! Boo Boo! Boo Boo! Boo Boo! Hi, Boo Boo! Hi, Baby! Hi, Betsy. Hi, Bobo.